the safari jacket. Let's go. What's going on, family? Welcome back to the channel. And it's first time here. My name is Ivan Martinez, otherwise known as Mr. Martinez. On this channel, we talk about men's style, men's lifestyle, and everything in between. So if you're into all that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. So I wanted to make a video on a jacket that I really don't see out there all that often. And I don't see a lot of people on YouTube talking about it. Um, I know that I saw my good friend Demetrius um, talking about it just recently, but it's the safari jacket. The safari jacket is a jacket that I am also pretty new to. It's not something that I've been wearing for the longest time, but it's something that I've recently got into and something that I think that you guys might like and something that if I talk about, you guys might be interested in as well. So in this video, we're going to cover its rich history. We're going to talk about the characteristics of the safari jacket. And I'm also going to show you guys three ways to style a safari jacket or hunting jacket. There's a lot of ways you could say this. So let's go ahead and dive in. A lot of menswear comes from the military and this jacket isn't the exception. Back in World War II, the British Army that was stationed in South Africa, they had these as standard issue. It was very functional and formal at the same time. It came standard in cotton and in a khaki color. Going into the characteristics of the safari jacket, the jacket has four big patch pockets, two on the top and then two on the bottom. Now originally they were button flaps, but throughout the course of time, some others didn't really like the button flaps, so brands decided to do the pockets a different way, so they don't necessarily have to have a flat button, sometimes they just have to flap. The jacket also has a shirt collar, which makes it even better and just kind of gives a different formality to the jacket and it's something that I really like on this. Now there's two ways to close this jacket. One of them is down the middle you have buttons or you also have a belted option. Now I know that a lot of jackets don't come with belts um, but you do have the option and I know brands that actually do sell them with the belt option so I like to steer people towards that aspect because it, it just looks really good. You also see that there is a button closure on the cuffs as well. As far as styling goes, there's a lot of ways that you can wear a safari jacket, but here are just three ways that I like to wear them during spring and summer. Now, you can switch this up whatever way that you want and just kind of go with your personal style. All these looks are going to feature my personal brand safari jacket by Mr. Martinez. This is a linen safari jacket, which is perfect for spring and summer. And if you want to go ahead and check that out, go ahead and check the link down below. I also have a bunch of other different colors, but this is just the navy one that I have that I really like. For this first look, we're going to skip the suit jacket. I really like this jacket with a nice button down and a tie. This button down is from under 510 and the tie is just one that I actually found at a thrift store. I found that this is a great way to just switch things up from wearing your normal suit jacket. You can take the trousers from your suit or you can maybe switch it up. Um, with wearing just some trousers that you have in your closet. Uh, I like to just change things up with this look and just integrate my safari jacket instead of just wearing my suit jacket. On my feet, I did decide to throw on a pair of cap toe brogues from DSW. For the second look, we removed the tie. This is a really simple look. All you have to do is just basically take off the tie. But I decided to switch things up as well. I threw on a button down cotton shirt. This is a short sleeve as well. And I basically just paired this with a pair of cotton chinos uh, for a great casual look. I also threw on a pair of loafers. These are from Jay Butler and I've been really liking these loafers. I'm actually going to do a review on them uh, sometime this month. And lastly, this is perhaps my favorite look and it's kind of what I have on in the video. is just a clean white tee with a pair of denim. The t-shirt is from Uniqlo and the denim is from Peter Manning NYC. I added some white sneakers as well and these are from Beckett Simonon. This is the perfect look just to go like a grill out or something. I could totally see myself wearing this. And we also have our winner for the giveaway for the Caballero Wear Chelsea boots and a custom made and measured leather jacket by yours truly. Um, they have been already uh, informed and we already posted it like on social media and all that stuff. Um, but I do want to thank everybody that joined the giveaway, that supported the channel, supported Caballero Wars channel, and everything else. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. Alright, guys, I hope you liked this video. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Which look did you like best? Better yet, let me know how you would style a safari jacket down below. I really love to see that. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. 
I appreciate you guys' time, and as always, style up. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you haven't joined La Familia yet, go ahead and hit the button up there. And I have another recommended video for you right over there. And as always, style up.